on today's video, we're doing something a little bit different. We're gonna eat a sail cat. <laughs> hey, if this is your first time joining, my name's Murph. This is Get Lift Fishing. On um, this channel, we focus on tips, tactics, and becoming a better fisherman. This is gonna probably be classified as a tips or tactics video because it's uh, not something that most people would do, I would say. So uh, thank you for watching, and if you enjoy the video, please consider subscribing at the end. Thanks, see you in the video. What you got there? Huh? I said, what you got there? I caught a catfish, sir. A big catfish. Big old fatty. Yes, sir. Nice, dude. What are we going to do with that guy? We're going to eat him. Yeah? Yeah, let's do it. Catfish. Bucket. Complete. Meat bucket. You got to rehook it, don't you? You got to take the hook out. Yeah. This bad boy. There you go. That's the old slime slime ball right there. Pretty gross. Why is it so slimy? That's just what they do. That's what catfish do. That's disgusting. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna clean this bad boy up in a little bit once he's uh, cooled off. And then uh, we're gonna have ourselves some... Uh, See if I can't catch the second one, have some extra catfish, huh? Yeah, a little fish fry action here in a minute. It's all right. There you go. You got something. Oh yeah, baby. Big boy. It's a big boy. It's a nice one. It's a tiny guy. Pin, baby. It's bait. More the better, yeah. I'll cast one more time. Ah, little one-hander. I'm attempting to get something on this little piece. Got him. Got him, baby. Did you? Oh, yeah. Nice. It's a mango. The snapper I was talking about. Whoever's on me is big. It's warm and bad. Mangrove it's snapper. It's biting him very aggressively. I just can't. There it is. There he is. Oh. You see this thing? You, you ever seen one of these guys before? No, I have I've only seen the alligator dog. I've never caught another fish. This yeah. is a mangrove snapper. It's or, really pretty. Yeah. A lot of people call them red snapper. They're not a red snapper. Mango. Mangrove snapper. Mango. Mangrove. He's a little small. Little guy. They got to be uh, 10 inches to keep. This guy's about 8 inches. Oh, he's pooping. There it is. They poop a lot. Mango they poop a lot. They're good eating. Yeah, those are good to eat. Ones, Just need bigger ones, yeah. I've never caught a legal one off the dock here or off the seawall. What do you mean illegal? Legal, like eligible to keep. What is eligible? 10 inches or bigger. Oh. How big was he? He was probably like seven or eight inches. Maybe six. I'm gonna go seven and a half to be safe. A little three inch gulp shrimp going on a jig head here. I'm gonna try to get our species count up a little bit. Maybe catch a flounder with this guy, or some more, uh, some more pinfish. Maybe even another snapper. Very exciting fishing we got here. <laughs> yeah, that's a big one. Got the sea bass on. These are one of my favorite fish to eat when they're legal size. I don't know that I would keep one off the dock here, but these things are sick. That's actually the first one I've ever caught off of uh, the, the uh, seawall here. Uh, sea bass? Yeah, sea bass. Back sea bass. Nice. Super mega nice. Later, dude. Later. Layla! Hello! Come on down here, what are you doing? I was going to say, come on, fish. You got some fish down here, you want to see a fish? Yeah. Come on. You see the bird? Yeah. You want to go clean this fish? No, the yeah. bird is No, we'll get him. Yeah, we'll move. See ya, buddy. We're going to 
gonna go clean this stuff, okay? Because we're gonna eat them. Wow, look at that fish! Hey, what's going on, ladies and gents? Welcome back to another episode of Get Lift Fishing. In today's episode, we're cooking up some catfish. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Catfish? Really? Yeah, catfish. This is a sail cat. The other sails, or the other catfish, are pretty gross. But if you what? catch yourself a, a sail cat, these are actually really good to eat. <laughs> I grew up eating freshwater catfish, and I found that the sail cats That's taste just like a freshwater catfish. So I'm gonna fry some of this up. I've got some uh, people here today that are gonna do some taste testing and be a uh, witness to the madness that is saltwater catfish. Do not take these techniques that you see to heart because I don't really know what I'm doing as far as when it comes to footland catfish. I'm just gonna do my best. And this is a pretty big one, so we should get a decent amount of meat off it. Alright, so we got our fish fillets. We got our fish fillets. And we're gonna do it my favorite way. We're gonna fry some fish up with some panko breadcrumbs. <clears throat> First step is to coat them in a little bit of flour. And then from the flour, you do the egg wash. And after the egg wash, they go into the panko or breadcrumbs, whatever you're using. These happen to be Vico, Vigo breadcrumbs. With Parmesan cheese and other good stuff. After you put the uh, egg wash on, you just put a little panko on these guys. Flip it over after you've coated that side. Now coat this side. Pat it down a little bit. Make sure it's evenly coated on both sides. Looks great. Let's throw it on the grill. On the grill we go. I uh, got a little piece of chicken here for sush and our yeast. All right, just added the catfish onto the uh, hot pan there. We're gonna uh, fry up and <clears throat> once they brown on one side, I'm gonna flip them over and brown the other side a little bit. And it should only take a few minutes to do and the chicken will take a little longer and then we'll have some black beans, rice, and catfish. Right, I'm gonna check these bad boys. They've been on for, I think, enough minutes. Oh yeah, that's looking nice. There's one. There's the others. You didn't know you were going to be eating fish today, did you? Nah. Especially one that I caught. Yep. I'm going to flip these guys over to the other side. Nice. They're browning up nicely on the grill here. Give that a little flip ski. Looks beautiful. Oh, yeah. She's going to like that. Let's uh, break into a little piece of this, see how it looks. That is saltwater catfish. It flakes really nicely. I've already had it once, so I know it's good, but for you, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna film you eating it because I know it's good. Boy, really hot though. Yep, just as good as it was last time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here you go. Your first saltwater catfish. What do you think? It's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get the rest of these bad boys off and have us a little catfish and chicken dinner with black beans and rice. Catfish. It's good. And it's good. All right, guys. Thank you guys for joining on today's episode. If you enjoyed today's episode, leave a thumbs up down below. And next time you're out and you catch a sail pit, or a sailfish, next time you're out and you catch a sail cat, take it home and eat it. They're amazing. Now, I know every fried fish, pretty much you can fry anything. It's good. But this fish is actually tasty. So I give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, guys, and if you're not already, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya! I grew up eating uh, freshwater catfish all the time. <laughs> you saw, look at the thing. What? Look at the thing. Look at what thing? The bird. There's the a bird. bird you like birds? Yeah, right the, neck is, the neck is big. Whoa, it's right there. Can we scare it? No. Okay, you want to leave it?